The ZANU PF Roadshow was in Mesvingo on Sunday as party members literally tripped over each other celebrating President Emerson Mnangagwa's 82nd birthday. The celebrations, held at Great Zimbabwe Monuments in Mesvingo, were dubbed Manhumutapa Day equating Mnangagwa's rule to the ancient Manhumutapa Empire, a once powerful kingdom that controlled large swathes of southern Africa. The birthday celebrations which came against the backdrop of the push for Umningogwa to extend his tenure beyond the constitutionally mandated two terms, lived up to its billing, with party members cheering on the president to stay in power beyond 2028. Although he has reiterated that he will rest at the end of his tenure. It appears the organizers of the Manhumutapa Day had arranged the show extremely well as party officials cheered on Umningogwa to go for a third term like synchronized swimmers in an Olympics final. While some had their voices hoarse chanting the 2030 slogan, others came in school uniforms saying the country's school calendar has three terms instead of two, in what was seen as an appeal to Umningogwa to go for a third term. But in all the frenzy, they did not pause and reflect on what a constitutional amendment will mean for an administration that came into power with a promise to break with the past. Dissociating itself from the bad boy tag that stuck on its predecessor like glue. Addressing the nation after the military coup in 2017, Uningagwa exhorted Zimbabweans to declare that never again should circumstances that have put Zimbabwe in an unfavorable position be allowed to recur or overshadow its prospects. The ruling ZANU-PF party must not be allowed to mutilate the constitution, arguably one of the biggest takeaways of the government of national unity that ran the affairs of the country in the period 2009 to 2013 and was credited for economic stability. ZANU-PF must never be allowed to ride rashad over the supreme law, which is not a mere lawyer's document, but a vehicle of life and its spirit is always the spirit of age, according to the late Indian politician Bimrao Ramji Ambedkar. However good a constitution may be, if those who are implementing it are not good, it will prove to be bad. However bad a constitution may be, if those implementing it are good. It will prove to be good, he said. This is lost on ZANU-PF as it is determined to show its might to allow Umningogwa to complete his vision. There is no doubt that the 2030 noise will grow louder in the coming weeks ahead of ZANU-PF's annual People's Conference in Bulawayo next month, where the plan to amend the constitution will be put into motion. It won't come as a surprise if Manhumutapa Day is declared a public holiday. It will be at par with the National Youth Day on February 21, which celebrates the late former President Robert Mugabe's birthday. And the biggest loser in this tragicomedy will be Brand Zimbabwe. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.